Hi, my name is Mark Goodner, and I'm here today to talk to you about using developer containers in Visual Studio for C++ development. To begin with, developer cont containers are great for packaging and running applications, and I think a lot of people know about that. Um, there's another concept called dev containers, and these basically expand the concept of just running the application in a container to also encompass uh, developing and building your application in the container itself. Uh, these are very popular for, reprodu for reproducible build environments, so that from dev to CI to even potentially running the application in the container, you have the exact same environment, and this, this is really great. Um, particularly for C++ development, where you often have many complex requirements that you need to satisfy. So getting them all containerized is a great way to get everybody on the same dev environment. And these have been popular in VS Code for some time now. It's part of the remote development workload, uh, workloads in Visual Studio Code. And starting in Visual Studio 17.4, we've enabled uh, CMake Precepts projects for C++ to also be able to use dev containers. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So I'm going to give you a quick demo of using a CMake project in Visual Studio uh, using a dev container. Here I've got a project opened up in Visual Studio that has a Docker file uh, with it that defines the dev container itself. It's not much. It's really just a C++ dev container from the Microsoft Container Registry. Here's a dev container.json file. It's pretty standard. Uh, so this is a pretty generic dev container that just has a basic C++ environment set up in it. And that gold bar there was telling me that the project had a dev container. And so I clicked reopen the project in dev container. And what that did, it started the dev container on my machine. And you can see there the status bar uh, at the bottom that's telling me that the dev container is starting up on my machine. And so now the dev container is started. And now CMake activation kicks in inside of the dev container. So there we go, it's generating the CMake cache. And now once all of that's ready, now we can go and take a look at the source code. This is a pretty simple app, it's basically just a hello world. Um, so you can see here IntelliSense warming up inside the context of the dev container. So we're getting IntelliSense from uh, within that environment, that Linux environment of the container itself. So I can set a breakpoint there. So and now what I can do is come over here and select my target, which is my, the MyCPP app coming from CMake, and click uh, Start. And now this is actually building and running inside of the container that Visual Studio is connected to. And there we go, we've hit our breakpoint. Uh, this is, you know, hit the breakpoint inside the dev container that we're attached to from Visual Studio. And I've got all of my normal debugging commands, and you can see it, it, it acts just as any Linux app running uh, inside the context of Visual Studios. Um, and you can also right-click on the devcontainer.json and say open container in terminal. And what that's going to do is allow you to connect to that running container in uh, the terminal, in integrated terminal in Visual Studio, so that you can actually run commands directly in that running container environment if there's things that you need to check out that are going on in there. Um, so that's great. So now we've got it connected to a dev container in VS. Now I can stop that. And because it's a cross-platform project, I can use my normal connection methods and switch to local machine. And because there's nothing platform specific in this code, now my CMake environment is running on my local machine. It's not running in the container anymore. And now it's just a regular uh, CMake application. And I can click build and run that. And it's launching just as any other Windows application on my machine. So. A lot of great cross-platform functionality here. Now that you've seen how that all works, I'm sure you're going to want to learn more. Um, these are some links to resources uh, that you can learn more about this. Uh, Dev Container Support's been enabled in Visual Studio 2022. It's part of the Linux and embedded workload. So go grab the latest and you can try this out. Uh, that's a link to our blog where you can track all of our announcements for the C++ team, as well as the specific blog post that talks about the dev container support. Uh, there's a second blog post that's referenced there that's a much more advanced demonstration that actually shows multiple build and deploy targets um, if you really want to uh, sink your teeth into this. And finally, if you want to get in touch with us, you can always reach us at that email address. Thanks a lot.